Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, I'm gonna try to explain how to use the mirror modifier. The mirror modifier mirrors a mesh along its local X, Y, and Z axes across the object origin. Let's press Shift A and add cube object. Then, press Tab key and go to edit mode. Press Ctrl R and add loop cut in the middle of the cube. Let's select the vertices on the left side of the cube and delete them. So we have half of the cube now. We can use the mirror modifier to mirror this to the other side. Let's go to modifier menu and add mirror modifier. There we go. We have mirrored along X axis and across the object origin. Don't forget that object origin point is the mirroring point. So, if we try to move the vertices out, it creates a gap between mirrored and original object. You can select more than one axis for mirroring. Let's add loop cuts. Then, delete all vertices except the upper side of the cube. Firstly let's enable the Y-axis mirroring and then Z-axis mirroring. Here we go. We have complete cube in the end. Let's add monkey head. Then, add subdivision surface modifier and apply. Right click and make shade smooth. Let's go to edit mode. Press 1 key for front view. Press Alt Z and go to X-ray mode. Let's select the vertices on the left side of the monkey and delete them. We have half of the monkey head now. Let's add mirror modifier. We have complete monkey head now. Now, if we try to edit one side of the monkey, also the other side will be edited symmetrically. It is very useful and handy if we work symmetrically. Bisect option here cut the mesh at the mirroring plane. Before we enable this option, let's select all vertices and move them other side. You can see the vertices can cross to the other side and they still get mirrored. When we enable bisect along the x-axis and move them on the x-axis, you can see the vertices doesn't pass through anymore and they merge together at the mirror plane. When the bisect option is enabled, you can use the flip option. It will flip the direction of the bisect. Let's undo to get back our mirrored shape. Then, go to object mode. Let's disable merge option down here. You can see we have a seam at the mirror plane and the vertices not merging together. But if we enable the merge option, this seam will disappear.
The merge distance is the maximum distance between a vertex and its mirror copy at which they are merged together. Let's move the vertices away each other. Then, let's raise the merge distance to 0.5. Here we go. If we move the vertices, you can see the vertices can cross over the mirror plane. But if we enable the clipping option, it prevents vertices from going through the mirror plane. It just snaps those vertices to the mirror plane and kind of flattens them out. We can also use another object's origin as the mirror center. Let's go back to object mode and add a empty object. Then, select the monkey head and go to mirror modifier. Select the empty object as the mirror object. Now, select the empty object and move it on the X axis. There we go. Our new mirror center is the empty object's origin. You can also rotate your mirrored object by rotating the empty object. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.